Let's talk about this. There does seem to be a little bit of butting heads when you compare black Americans to Africans. African Americans aren't looked at as a specific culture when Jamaicans are, or Haitians are, mm -hmm. or whatever, Antigua, like all of them are looked at, nobody questions their culture. So I consider myself a black American. I don't consider myself African American and shout out to all my niggas in Africa, much love. But y'all gonna consider us real African. We not, there's no war. You get what I'm saying? We yeah. want to be respected just because if you go to their countries, they're acting like us. We're not acting like them. They got on baseball hats and, mm -hmm. and, and Nike shoes and, and stuff and that we're wearing. But we we did, we built a culture. You built, we built a culture. Yeah, African Americans Recently. have no, African nah, Americans. You guys, yeah. you do definitely have your own culture. I can definitely. But see. You my country is America. I was born in New York, where, raised where, in. Where, where are your parents from? You, my parents are from New York. Americans, they don't know where they're from. Let me ask you something. What country in Africa are you from? I'm from America. That's what we're saying. Just what like a Jamaica. Just like a no, no, no. Hold on. Just like somebody from Jamaica, they're not going to say what country in Africa they're from. Somebody in Haiti is not going to say what country from. They're going to say they're Haitian. Do you consider Black Americans to be Africans? No, they are not Africans. <laughs> they do have culture, but it was made and created, and it became their own culture. Hip hop. Mm. That's literally a culture from Black African Americans. We are the culture here. Mm -hmm. Our lineage goes back to this country longer than the lineage to their country because their countries are relatively new, especially over there in West Africa. We're not from the motherland. We're from, the Amer we're from America. So I would say I'm a black American. So you think black Americans should return to Africa? Uh -uh, they shouldn't. That would be bad. <laughs> that would be bad. That would be the end of Africa. As they say, Sometimes it be your own people. They ain't wearing kente cloth um, <laughs> sweatpants. They're wearing Nikes and Adidas like we're wearing. Right. Yeah. What's up with the divide between black Americans and Africans in this diaspora war? It's like a stalemate type of, it's just a hate fest between the two. What's the root of that? Why are we here? Is it beneficial? A lot of times African people, they kind of look down on black Americans because they feel like they know where they come from. There's a strong line back to their lineage and their culture and they feel like black americans don't have that so they can't trace where they actually come from specific to tribes and kind of the origin back in africa black americans consider themselves their own culture and something that was built over 400 years in another country and is kind of distinctly different from what african culture is and maybe the big disconnect is what each side really considers culture black americans really just don't have a a need to feel like they're incomplete because they don't know where they come from as far as being on the African continent. And I think in African culture is such a big part of African culture that it's unimaginable to not have that as a big part of your life. And it's just that misunderstanding that really is the genesis of all this kind of a hate or just not understanding each other and not really getting each other as far as communities. Who's to say which one's better? We gotta be honest, a lot of times when Africans or immigrants come to America, uh, there's kind of, a, how do you say, they have conversations, they have in their culture, their ways, they tell their own to kind of stay isolated away from American Blacks. They, they wanna separate themselves from American Blacks and really kind of look down upon that and try to move along in their own way with their own culture once they enter America. From being in their homelands, the images that are portrayed of American Blacks are often negative. They're not the most positive. The gangster images, just the, the, the outlawness. So in their minds, they're trying to protect their children, bring them into a country and go, you know, the right way and, you know, what they perceive. American Blacks on the other side, you're looking at it like there was a lot of fight that went into this being a place that you even want to come to. And that was done on the backs of American Blacks. And it's disrespectful to even come in here and want to try to separate yourself and think that you're quote unquote better than someone else that had to go through what they had to go through as far as the people being here. And not just surviving, but putting a lot of work in to overcome and make this something that to the point where you're actually able to come here and build a life for your family. So to look down upon that, but you don't understand the exact struggle and all the intricate details and nuances of what the black experience is in America, not just what you were shown in your foreign lands. It's kind of crazy. A lot of times Africans feel like since they came to America, they did it by the straight and narrow. 
raise their kids and, and kind of contain their culture yeah, even after getting into America that if they did it, why can't American black people do it? And that's where all the stereotypes come in. They're lazy, they're undisciplined, they're wild, they're ghetto. They're just not the type that you want to associate with. And they're just kind of negative because look, their culture is what protects them and what's made them successful. Even coming over here and sending their kids to school and, and having success in all types of different fields. While that's partly true, there is another side to it. A lot of times with immigration, you're getting some of the people that are in position from these other places that can afford to come and send their kids to school. They're a little bit more affluent part of the society that they're leaving. So these are a little bit more well-to-do people that probably would have done the same things in their homeland. So it's not fair to, com to compare that segment of a society that we're kind of privileged in a way that the American black base has not been and judge the results on that. So for them just to come over here and just to try to be separate, not be involved with American blacks. Black Americans feel like there's been a fight for civil rights. There's been so much work put in that you're even comfortable to be here. Um, that just demands a certain amount of respect. And for you to come and try to be separate and not a part of the bigger picture of just black people working together. It's just been a slap in the face and it's kind of disrespectful. And even things said on the black American side, as far as African not being a strong people, that they're just culturally different from black Americans who have more of a fight inside of them. Oftentimes, Africans are slandered for always getting dominated pretty much a lot of the times, whereas black Americans feel like they put up a fight. There's kind of an in-between with the Caribbean. Uh, that's a whole nother topic, a whole nother thing. But black Americans actually fought to change this as opposed to running away and trying to go somewhere else and feeling like you're better than someone that actually fought the fight against that. These are all conversations, not necessarily my opinion, but that's just a different type of resolve that makes that culture different, that makes that culture a culture that's actually admired around the world and really copied. Even the biggest African stars in their culture, they look like hip hop, which is American black. When you think of a black person in a random place around the world, you think of an American black. Most will say American Blacks do dominate the culture of the perception of Black people around the world uh, as, as far as dress, hip hop, just culture in general. And that's kind of overpowers individual tribism that, you know, many people have seen as kind of failed because if you're fighting amongst each other, you are always getting beaten out by the bigger picture of a nation. So that's what Black people need to do, come together as a nation. No one thinking that they're better than each other and understanding that there's bigger pursuits to be had and you know bigger problems to tackle so ultimately you got to respect each other's culture the two cultures they're independent cultures recognize that they're different cultures what black americans have been able to build in america over hundreds of years has to be respected as something that's independently different than what has happened even for hundreds of years in Africa, on the continent of Africa. And there's pride in what they've done over there, but there's also has to be pride in what's been done in America to, be, to create something that the world has copied. So it all really ends with respect, learning, and understanding each other's cultural differences and really just kind of try to appreciate each other. Um, yeah, watch this next video.